Do you think about the ship Mako? Is it a healthy or unhealthy relationship? Uh, it's a healthy relationship. And here, let me explain. Me and my partner, right, have been together for almost four years, right? Our relationship works very similar to Mako, right? The only difference is we probably take turns on who we are, right? Like most of the time I'm like the Zuko and she's like the Mei, but then sometimes she's the Zuko and I'm the Mei, right? But like, sometimes you need that. Like one thing about Mei and Zuko that I think a lot of people don't pay attention to is that they always make it up in the end, right? And that, that is really what I found worse, right? Like it doesn't matter. Like some people are like, oh, well, if you, if you argue with your partner at all, that's a bad relationship. That's stupid. Everyone argues. You do not have to be in a relationship to argue with people, right? Me and my little brother argue all the time. I'm never going to stop talking to my little brother. Like, come on. But what a lot of people don't realize is that arguing can be bad, but arguing can also be good because it can get like communication across like relationships. The main thing about relationships that I found works is communication, right? Like if it, it like if you're making sure that the other person understands how you feel about things and what you know about things, then like even if you do argue sometimes, it won't always be bad, right? The problem would be if I feel like if you were arguing about something petty right like if you're arguing about petty stuff that might be one thing but if you're arguing about like how someone someone felt about what you did or the consequences of your actions or stuff like that i don't think that's always a bad thing right and so like what they've shown is that those two do even though they're kind of dysfunctional sometimes they do have a really good effect on each other right like, May is visibly happier when she's around Zuko, right? We know that she has a problem expressing herself, but if you ever pay attention to the scenes where, like, May and Zuko are together, May is not only more visibly happy, but she's more visibly expressive, too. Like, she smiles a whole lot more, and, like, her whole tone changes, right? So she, she definitely gets something out of that relationship. And the same thing with Zuko, right? Like Zuko gets to be like the softer part of himself that kind of comes from Ursa. He gets to express that a lot when he's with Mei, right? So really, I think that when you really get down to it, I think that that ship does work. I know it's not for everyone, but I do think that it does work.